Welcome to this Lightroom for Quick Start video tutorial series. And uh, my name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, and I will show you rapidly all the different modules that uh, we used to retouch photos, to import, retouch, put on a map, create books, create slideshows, and print photos, and do websites. All this with Lightroom 4. Uh, and there is a lot of new features in Lightroom 4, which we will go over. This course is not going to go into every single detail of Lightroom. Uh, this is just a quick start, so you see the main functions and you can get started. So here I am, I just opened Lightroom 4, and all I did was go into File, a New Catalog, and created a new catalog. This I have already done, and I've called it the LR4 Quick Start Catalog. Now, what is a catalog? A catalog is basically a file which has all the previews of your photos and all the names and all the information about the retouching of the photos. And the reason Lightroom needs a catalog is that when later on we need to find photos, it's going to go a lot faster to find photos in your catalog than to try to find them on your hard drive with Windows Explorer or the Finder or something like this. So there we have Lightroom completely empty. And now I'm going to insert, we're going to start from scratch, just, you know, as we would start from scratch. I'm going to insert a CF card with photos in my computer. Lightroom is going to detect automatically that I've inserted a CF card. And in a second, you will see the import windows, which is going to open up, uh, showing me a preview of all the photos which are in this uh, CF card. A CF card if nothing happens just like what I did now what you can do to do is go into file import photos and videos and uh, there you have this is all my hard drives and this is my CF card with my photos on it so I just click on it and um, here I am and the photos that we are going to be using through all these trainings uh, just appeared so how does this import windows work on the left You've got your sources. It can be hard drives, it can be uh, CF, SD cards, uh, iPhone, whatever. Whatever you plug in to your computer that has photos in it. So you can just choose. Uh, make sure that include subfolders is, is marked if you have like subfolders, um, you know, with photos on it. Uh, for this example, I don't have any subfolders on it, so I can leave it on and off. It doesn't really matter. And, uh, and here you have, this is... All these photos are RAW files. Uh, I shoot Canon, so the RAW files are CR2 file, which is a RAW format. Uh, the reason I shoot RAW, just as a little uh, introduction, is because uh, you get a lot more quality by shooting RAW. And Lightroom is a program which is specially designed to uh, develop your RAW files. So as I like to get the best out of my photos, I always shoot RAW. But it could be JPEG, it also works. But in this case, it's raw files. Okay, now we have several options here. So, and this is where you choose if you uh, copy as a DNG, copy, uh, move, or add your photos. Now, let's talk a bit about that. Uh, I suggest that you always choose this option, copy as DNG. What is DNG? Uh, except if you only have JPEG files, but if you have raw files, DNG is great because DNG is basically a universal RAW format uh, that will convert your Nikon or Sear or Canon or uh, Fuji or Pentax, whatever your brand is, it will convert this brand RAW file into a DNG file. And there is three main reasons why it's good to do this. Reason number one, your files will be 20% smaller. Reason number two, they will, uh, they will, get, uh, they will appear on Lightroom uh, up to eight times faster than if it's a, a Nikon or a CR2 file. And the third reason is that the DNG format is a format that's supposed to last in time, meaning in 20 years, uh, the CR2 format might not exist. The DNG format may, will be there because it's like a sort of a universal format. That's the theory behind it. So, but if you don't want to convert them as DNG, you can just copy or move a copy will just leave them on your cart and put them wherever you, you decide, which is here on this right part. Move them will take them out of your cart and into your folders. Sometimes this is not activated 
in some cases on some uh, on some uh, CF or SD cards, but in any case, you just use copy if you cannot move them. And add, it says add photo to catalog without moving them, meaning that uh, add is very different from copy. Add is going to leave the photo on the card and import just the previews in the catalog. That's not what we want. What I want to do is transfer the photos from my card and put them into the catalog. So for this, I only have basically two options, which is copy or copy as DNG. I suggest that you do copy as DNG. Now, we have selected the source where the files come from. We have selected which photos we want. Oh, you see, they are all checked mark. If I did not want to uh, you know, import this photo, I could just select it and uncheck it. But for this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use everything. If I wanted to uncheck everything, I could do uncheck all or I could do check all. But for now, I do check all. And this is very interesting options you can use when you import your photos. First is rename files. Often when you take photos, you know, the file, they have like names like one, two, three, one, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, it doesn't really mean much, you know. Um, so uh, you can rename them. For example, if I type uh, LR4 for Lightroom for training, uh, this photo is going to call is going to be called LR4 training one, LR4 training two, etc., etc. It's just a, a quick way to rename uh, the photos uh, as you import them. It can be it can be useful. You can use the starting number. Um, okay, so that's one thing. The other important thing is keywords. It's always important. Every time I import photos, I always put in keywords. So there is a bit of a discipline on this is uh, well for this training I, t I i choose photos from different time and places this is photo from paris this is photo from the south of france this is photos from an apartment this is again photo from paris so they're like from different shoots but usually let's say that i shoot a wedding or i shoot a commercial shoot or, you know basically i usually do one shot shoot and just select that one shoot and give some keywords like you know like paris you can put commas between keywords so like paris uh, sauce of France uh, and apartment, for example. Now, uh, the thing is that now that as I'm importing all of them in the same time, all photos is going to have all these three keywords, which is a bit funky because this is not Paris, for example. So that's why it's good that when you import into Lightroom, try to do subject by subject. So you can just assign one or two keyword, which will be good for that one subject. Okay, next is basically where in your hard drive, you're going to put the, um, the imported photos. So I'm going to, I have an external drive that's called Blockbuster and uh, I'm going to go into Photo Surge, which is like a, basically a, a subfolder in that hard drive. And I'm going to go into um, Tutorials Lightroom. And on this, I want to create a new folder. So you right click on it and you said create new folder. And uh, I'm going to call this, and then you have to click again, new folder. I'm going to call this LR4 Quick Start. Create and then choose. So basically, it's going to import the photos, convert them into DNG, rename them as LR4 Training, import all these keywords and put them into the specific folder that I just assigned. So all this in one shot. So that is the import uh, window on the uh, on Lightroom 4. Uh, you can change the size of your thumbnails, for example, you know, if you want to see better the photos. Uh, if you only want to, let's say I only wanted to import this one, this one and this one. If you want to go fast, you can go uncheck all. And then you command click on Mac or, wind or control click on Windows and you click on the one you want to select. And then you click the check mark and these ones are selected. I want to import all of them. So yeah, there is other options that we're not going over like the import preset. But as I said, this is a quick start. That's the minimum you need to know to get you started using Lightroom 4. So basically all I'm going to do is click on import and next we are going to start uh, retouching photos at import in our next video.